Hi, thanks so much for joining me for part two of my first time with my hockey brushes. And uh, I really appreciate you watching. Hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of the video and I'm going to put it in fast forward and let you watch for most of it and speak to you at the end. And here I'm making grasses with the hockey brush, which was really kind of fun. Enjoy! I've done a little bit more here on this. I went to my newer dagger brush. It's from King Art. It's in a, a quarter inch called Original Gold. I like these King Art brushes. Uh, right on this brush it says dagger or rigger. Uh, I've heard them called daggers, I've heard them called sword brushes, I've heard them called, you know, riggers as well. They just are, you can use them for so many, many things. Like right now I'm kind of going back and forth between the very, very tip of the, of the dagger. You can turn it so that the dagger I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> see, here's the pointy end. You can turn it so that the pointy end faces you and, and sweep up. And you'll get these real teeny, weeny, tiny lines. You can kind of sort of flick it on its side and get these. Now this one is, is a little bit shorter and more firm than the other one I have. The other one I have is longer and floppier, <laughs> for lack of a better word. It's a silver black velvet. And this one has right on it striper. Uh, so I guess you can call them all these different things, all these different names. Sort of call it whatever you want, I guess. But I haven't used these much either, so I thought I would incorporate playing around with with this uh, into my painting as well. It wasn't really supposed to be a painting. It's just supposed to be messing around. I uh, did a little bit more on the sky. I uh, put a little bit of yellow in it, just the tiniest little bit. I don't even know if you can see it. And some, some uh, purple, some violet. And uh, did a little bit more work on those distant hills. Just sort of put a couple of details in. Some more detail on the rocks here in the foreground or the midground doing some more um, just grasses here in the front playing with this rigger dagger striper <laughs> whatever you want to call it I'm going to clean that out and see if I can put some something in the water with it. I ended up with a little bit of water here um, in this painting. 
And this. See what the. What this dagger does. fun. Just kind of sort of, it's just fun. <laughs> Boy, that was really helpful, wasn't it? Yeah, it, um, gives you some different, some versatile different movement. I suppose you could do it with other brushes as well, or just as well. So that that sort of looks like a piece of land poking out there into the water. I really like how you can, um, obviously that's where the, the striper part comes in. I really like how you can uh, get a fine, really fine um, line with them. Sorry if I stop talking and then just, you know, kind of fade off. Um, <laughs> pull that up a little. Yeah, this paper is really not good paper. <laughs> I should have picked a different color of paper, a different color. Yeah, different color. A different kind of paper to work with here. Basically just to, oh, basically just to, um, kind of cool. Sort of make it look like it belonged in there, huh? There we go. Because this paper isn't very conducive to lifting any color back off that you may have gotten in that you didn't really one in, you know, you have a lot of room to pick color back up whenever you have better paper. Yeah, the water's not bad. Now, I like how they can make a sort of an edge, like a rock formation kind of as well. Okay, I'm 
going to look at it for a little bit and then see what else I went, might want to do with it. So I will be back here after I take a look. Okay, I kind of played around a little bit more with my rigger brush and my dagger brush, sword brush, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I added a little bit of sort of a rusty color in there in a couple spots. I, I'm i going to just leave it go um, like it is. It is what it is. It's just play and checking out how my brushes work. And uh, as far as the hockey brushes go, they're they're really cool, and I do like them. I got some little pieces of of paint of bristles on here because I gave a brush a haircut, a couple of them. I want to see if I can make some brushes that will do. A little bit of texture for me. They have um, specialized brushes that will do that, but um, right now I don't want to purchase any. I just thought I would try and see if I could make my own. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Okay. Hockey bristles everywhere as well. Uh, I want to show you another painting. Bear with me. That oddly enough is kind of, looks a bit similar to this one. <laughs> um, and I did this one on some really not very great paper either. And I kind of like how this one turned out. I was working on my rocks and my rocky shore and I put this kind of a dead tree in here. Some distant hills. Anyway, I I kind of really like how this one turned out. I wish I would have put it on better paper. I was playing and I thought, well, I'll just use up some of this really cheap paper that I have. And you can see it is because look how it it bends. Um, I don't even know what pound it is as far as weight, but. Yeah. So that's just another painting that I've done recently. I don't know if there are any others that I've done recently that I haven't shown you yet. Uh, let me look and I'll come back in just a second. Okay, here's a couple other paintings that I've done recently. I was kind of working on different kind of multicolored backgrounds and some floral. I found out my neighbor is an amazing photographer and she has graciously let me use her photos as reference and it's so fun to be able to use these beautiful pictures that she's taken uh, to be subjects of my paintings. Okay, there's a butterfly. I don't know if I've shown you him or not. And then there's this floral tulip. And then this last one is, I don't know what kind of flower that is. I don't think it's a daisy. Okay, so that's all I have today, and um, 
I want to tell you that I'm going to go ahead and put this up on, on, on a Friday, which is today. Normally on Fridays I do my bid and buy, which I have decided to um, postpone for now. Uh, I don't um, I don't really want to have to travel out to the post office right now if I don't have to. Uh, if there is interest in bid and buy, I will, you know, start it again when all of this horribleness is over and done with in our world. Right now my area is on uh, a stay at home or not to go out unless it's an absolute necessity to the doctor or to the grocery and so I don't really want to have to go out to the post office so I'm going to postpone the bid and buy for now and I thank you and, and again if there is interest in it uh, in the future when things are better just uh, let me know that you're interested in it and uh, we will start it up again. I also may go ahead and open it up to my friends in the uh, across uh, the world, <laughs> my, um, my overseas friends my out of the U.S. friends, so. Okay, until I visit with you next time, folks, thank you for watching, and God bless you. Bye.